Hello, my name is Chris, and today I want to talk to you about what has got to be the single most important thing that we need in order to quit smoking and stay quit long term. And it's not any kind of patch or pill or potion or lotion. It's not any kind of method or strategy. I'm not here to sell you a quit smoking program. It's not even a book. Although to be fair, I will try and sell you one of those at the end of this video. It is simply this. It is a want, a desire, an almost desperate desire to actually quit smoking and be a non-smoker. Yeah, Chris, that's obvious. Like, if I'm gonna quit smoking, I need to want to. Well, yeah, it sounds obvious, but it's worth noting that there is a huge difference between having a desire to quit smoking and a desire to stop our wife or girlfriend or husband nagging us about quitting smoking. There is a huge difference between wanting to embrace the health and the happiness and the freedom of being a non-smoker and just wanting our family to stop saying, when are you gonna quit smoking? Because it stinks, right? It's so important that we recognize this difference. I'm not saying that it is impossible to quit for other people, but it's certainly a lot harder. A couple of years ago, there was a research study done and they looked at a bunch of people who quit smoking and had stayed quit. And they found that smokers whose motivation, whose goals for quitting smoking, whose motivation for quitting smoking was intrinsic, as in it was about them, it came from within, they were far more likely to not just quit, but stay quit than those whose motivation came from external sources, whether that was from a family member bugging them or just social conventions or you know whatever the case may be. Now, as I'm talking to you here and now, I forget the details of that study, but I will put a link to it down in the description below. And if you've read Quit Smoking and Be Happy, my book, then it is also in there. And it's true, isn't it? That we are far more motivated to do something, or most of us are, when it actually benefits us in some way than if it's just to stop somebody from hassling us, basically. And think about when I was a kid, my mum would say, Chris, tidy your room, it's a mess. And I'd go, mm, but I don't want to. And I might do it reluctantly, but it would take me forever and I'd do a half assed crappy job of it. And then as soon as I started to get older, nobody now tells me to tidy my room. I kind of wish they would sometimes. <laughs> But now I'm motivated because I see the benefit of keeping my room and my home tidy. And there's a big difference in the shift in energy in that. If we are at a point where we know that we should quit smoking, because when we think about it logically, it just seems, yeah, we should stop poisoning ourselves. We should stop choking ourselves. We should stop paying a small fortune for the privilege of smelling like an ashtray and increasing our risk of heart disease and lung cancer. We should because it's logical, it's sensible. But if there is any part of us that still believes that we are benefiting from smoking, that we are gaining something from it, then we are not going to want to let go of that. And why would we? 
if we still truly believe that we are getting some kind of benefit from anything, we're not going to want to let it go. Because to let that thing go means that we're losing out somehow. It means that we are approaching quitting smoking from a mindset of loss, of scarcity, of sacrifice. I am sacrificing this thing that helps me. I'm giving something up. We start to look at it as if I quit smoking, then I have to go through life without cigarettes. When really the truth is that when you give up smoking, you don't have to go through life without cigarettes. You get to. There is a big difference. Some of you may know this year I've been doing my hypnotherapy practitioner's diploma. And this weekend we did a whole module just on quitting smoking, which obviously I was very excited about. And I was pleased to see that most of what was taught on this diploma tallied with what I've been talking to you about all these years. That's not me saying, look at me, I know everything there is to know, because I don't. I'm still learning all the time. But most of the messages that they wanted us to give to quit smoking clients are the same kind of messages I've been giving to you, including this one right now. If you're going to quit smoking and stay quit and be successful at it, then you're going to have a much, much better time if you actually want to, rather than just getting someone off your back or knowing that you should, but not really wanting to. They said that hypnotherapy has about an 80% success rate of helping people to quit smoking. And they also said that of those 20% that don't successfully use hypnotherapy to quit smoking, is those people who are holding on to this, to that idea that there is some benefit in it. It is those people who are doing it to get their partners off their back. It's the reason why, as I'm moving into setting up my own hypnotherapy business, I'm offering gift cards and vouchers for people to have sessions with me, but I'm not offering gift cards for people for quitting smoking because I don't want someone's wife or husband to buy them a voucher and say, here's, here's a voucher to get hypnotherapy for quitting smoking. And the person's going, well, actually, I don't want to quit. So I'll go along because you've spent the money, but I'm just going to waste my own time and Chris's time. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to work with people who really, really want to quit. And it's okay if you don't want to quit. I don't make these videos from a place of moral judgment. Or at least I hope it never comes across that I do. I'm not here to say to you, Smoking is evil and you shouldn't do it. And if you do do it, then you're a terrible person. Because I used to smoke and I'm not a terrible person. I'm not coming at this from a place of moral judgment. If you want to smoke and you enjoy smoking, smoke your head off. When you start to come to the realization that actually cigarettes are doing nothing for me. keep saying that I smoke to relieve stress but I don't actually feel that much more stressed when I once I've had a cigarette that's why you look outside a hospital at people who you know undergone trauma and they're smoking away it's why we chain smoke in times of high stress because we've associated okay cigarettes help me relieve stress and I'm very, very stressed because I've just gone through some huge ordeal. So I'll have one cigarette. Oh, that didn't take the stress away. So I'll have another cigarette. That didn't take the stress away. We'll have another cigarette. We have all these cigarettes and they don't take the stress away. If they did, it would work, right? 
no matter what we tell ourselves, there is nothing in a cigarette that does us any benefit whatsoever. All cigarettes do is pollute us, choke us, cost us a small fortune in the process. So all I've got for you, that I was trying to make a quick video today because I've just, like I say, my whole day has gone to shot, which is fine. For more support with quitting smoking, do come join our Finding Freedom Facebook group. It's facebook.com slash group slash Finding Freedom One. There is an amazing community that is growing all the time. People supporting each other at all levels of their quit. The book I mentioned earlier, is called Quit Smoking and Be Happy, available in print and ebook form. Links are in the description below. Finally, if you've heard me talk about hypnotherapy and you're thinking, actually, Chris, I'd like to have some hypnotherapy from you to help me quit smoking. I'm not offering this as a service yet. I've got a couple of people that I'm doing some sessions with so that I can practice and get used to it. And then I'm going to start offering actual hypnotherapy at the end of November, maybe into the new year. If you are interested, you can go to chrisscoyles.com slash hypnotherapy, leave your email address, and when I start offering this as a service, I will email you and we'll, I'll let you know and we can work together then. How's that sound? Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been useful or it's just helped you forget about a cigarette for 10 minutes. I will see you next week. Goodbye.